Ain't nothing like waking up and blowing up some zombie heads. All right, are you dead? You're dead. These guys are still trying to break into my place. I'm over here, you idiots. Oh, we got a runner. Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to our little zombie adventure in Zom Piercer. Now, uh, as you can see, we are well on our way down the railroad tracks now, hopefully finding a new town sooner or later, or whatever else we can find in this game. And, uh, yeah, it's going quite well. And uh, just to update you guys, I don't know how long I should wait. I should actually probably watch. Well, actually, let me just quickly show you. So I added one more uh, cupboard here just for some extra storage space because this one was filling up. So we got materials over here and then survival stuff over here. Um, so, yeah, that's all I've really done off recording. Aside from that, I don't know what's going to happen next. Oh, I can actually see something already. So that's a good sign. Looks like we got... Is that a town? Wow, okay, so we got some cars here, and it looks like we also have a garage in the distance. Ooh! And there's a town down the road as well, so... I wonder what should I do first? Well, we're going here, so we may as well check out here first. Looks like I'm not seeing any zombies, which kind of excites me. You know what, let's probably turn this off. Oh god, that's a gate. Can I break through the gate? Uh, okay, yep, yeah, we are totally fine. Okay, well, it looks like this might be a little bit of a safe haven. We're actually okay right now. Let me just look. Oh, nope, there's zombies right over there. Okay, so we do have to be careful here, but I did actually need some scrap, so this actually works out. Unfortunately, wait, why, why, why can't I grab that? Okay, for some reason it didn't let me pick it up first try. All right, so I think we're safe in here, but definitely over there we got some zombies. And it doesn't look like there's too many zombies here. Last episode, there were zombies everywhere, so I got to assume it's going to be pretty difficult here, but so far, so good. Now, what we do kind of got to, we have to kind of rush this because I am really low on water right now. So I'm trying to uh, get as much done as quickly as possible. Now, what I was hoping to do is build that metal bench. To build that, I believe we need this adjustable wrench. And would you look at that, I have everything I need right now. So we're gonna build that. It's a simple tool for assembling metal furniture, so I'm assuming we're going to need that to assemble the metal bench as well. So let's check that out, and yes, that is exactly what we needed, perfect. All right, and there we go. We are done, and the one thing we can make in this, I was hoping there'd be some armor or something, but is a melting, or sorry, a metal melting furnace. Now, that's going to take 10 scrap, uh, as well as three gears and one motor. I don't think I have, well, actually, I do have all that stuff. Only thing I don't have right now is scrap, so we're definitely gonna need to go get some scrap before we do that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. At least we figured out that. Uh, that's good. Do I need anything else? Should I take, you know what, I should probably take at least a couple of these. Oh my god, I've used literally every piece of my scrap, so if we could find one here, that would be great, because I would like to try and stealth kill this guy. Uh, unfortunately, I've looted the majority. Oh god, he's looking at me. Alright, let's see if we can maybe find some scrap around here. Obviously, keep the gun out just in case. Ah, uh, wood, come on, give me a scrap. Damn it. Couldn't get lucky, and I don't think there's anything down here besides doorways. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, so somebody's through that. You know what? Oh, damn, son. I can't loot these boxes. Interesting. These are the first boxes I've seen that I can't loot. Great. Oh. Oh, God. What the hell? Where the hell is that? I wonder if this is a door to the upstairs then? Oh, I thought this was the outside. Okay, well, clearly they're in here. That's locked, so I'm assuming that's what we gotta find is a key for that. All right, well, we got zombies in here, but we also have loot, which makes this exciting because maybe we'll find some water. Let's also see if this gun is fixed. Hello, buddy. Well, there we go. It only took two shots that time compared to the last episode. That's a hell of a lot better, so that's good around out here. I'm not seeing too many zombies here, so I think we're kind of in a good space. We got lots of ammo, so I'm, I'm gonna go crazy with the ammo right now. But I need some freaking water, man! Alright, please tell me this is a kitchen. Hello, sir. I totally missed your face. Okay, that's embarrassing. And boom goes the dynamite. Oh, that explosion! Alright, we have to go for the headshots, clearly. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Right, we got a metal door. Hello? Oh, God! Thank God this gun is working now, because those are the ones that spit on you. Okay, and that's outside. What the hell is that? Oh, that's my shell. Um, what the hell? There's shells out here. Okay, I'm hearing somebody, but clearly they're outside. So, unfortunately, the one thing I need water, we could not find here. Of course. I think I've done the whole place. 
So that means I think we gotta rush down to the town possibly because I couldn't find a key for that door and I'm assuming it's maybe in the town. Um, I So unfortunately I didn't get any scraps so I'm gonna have to do this non-stealth. I'm just gonna rush through this and hopefully actually, can we get some scrap here? No. All right, screw it. Get the hell out of here. Oh my God, ow. All right, there we go. I actually found some scrap here. Now I don't think there's gonna be much in terms of food over here. So, I think we'll look at this place later. I think I want to go to the town. There's there's houses there, and houses usually have water. So, let's get back in here. You know what? I'm just going to bring the train back over to the town. We'll come back here for sure, because I didn't loot it all. And I could definitely use the crafting materials, but I kind of got to survive first. Oh, crap. That's right. <laughs> the front of my train's over here. Okay, and there we go. I should also mention they added a workbench here, a very basic workbench, so I guess that's kind of cool. Um, now, before I forget, let's actually make that scrap dagger. Get that done so we can hopefully stealth a little bit of this, because obviously this is a zombie game. Stealth should be something that I should be doing more of. All right, so there we go. We'll quickly bank and then uh, hit this town, I guess. Okay, so I think, yeah, we can loot all these. Now, I'm not too worried right now. That's gonna give me mostly crafting gear. We'll do that at nighttime when we uh, don't have to worry about, you know, water. It's all, my, my mind in this game is always on freaking water. So, yeah, this definitely looks like a place that will have some water for us. Hopefully there's not too many zombies. You know, I don't wanna jinx it, but is this place like a safe haven? I mean, obviously people survived here. They have fences and they have boards up. I'm not seeing any zombies. Oh, okay, I do see some in the distance. Not like last episode, though, where they were, like, surrounded by me. Um, it's looking like... I hope I don't jinx this, but it might be an okay place to loot. Now, are these open? Oh, this is great! Give me some water, please! Damn it. Come on. Oh, really? Oh, well, there we go. We got some water. Oh, yes, that's what I like to see. Okay, I can, I, I can breathe a little bit again. I, I can actually get water here, and... Oh, wow, we actually got quite a bit of water just in this one. I, I thought all the water came from fridges. Clearly not. Okay, this is where I'm going to try and stealth kill these guys, so... Thing is... I have to take my time if I do it this way, and I'm always worried about my food, but... This should be a lot of damage, probably. Nope! Oh, what the hell? What? No! What the... Is this thing not... What the- No! Oh my god. I can't run for some reason. Did he break my legs? What the hell? Now I'm good. <laughs> okay. Well, first impressions of the dagger is there- It's it's not very good. I'm assuming I did that wrong, though, because it's supposed to give you a bunch of damage um, if you stealth them, and that guy should have been stealth, so I don't know what the hell happened there, but I don't know if I should trust the dagger now. I was gonna use that, but uh, honestly, I think having a pistol is a better idea. Ah! Jesus! Well, looks like we got some visitors in this house. They weren't doing that before. Just give me a second. I'll open the door. Hello? Come on in. Oh god, there's two of you. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, there's mo multiples. What the hell? Okay, well, there we go, and there we go. Goodbye. Oh man, I think we're full inventory already, so that's a good sign to have. Uh, I'm just gonna drop these things that I know I won't use too much of, because I'd rather get some more ammo. Clearly, we're gonna use a lot of that. I was hoping to at least finish up this house. Let's uh, at least check these rooms and see if there's anything. I don't know where that zombie is that's walking around, but it's kind of tripping me out. Okay. Yeah, he's somewhere around here. You coming in? Where the hell is he? Is he over here? No, this is just a small bathroom. All right, well, there's that house done. I'm not really sure where this zombie... Is he alive on the ground? Where are these zombies that I'm hearing? Well, there he is! Get the hell off the roof! We did all these homes, these four. Uh, not too bad, we got a little bit. At least we got some water, as you can see. Now the thing I'm worried about is actually food. <laughs> so if it's not one thing, it's the other. But uh, yeah, at least we got a lot more houses here, so we should be okay now. Uh, let's head back to the train station, and or the train rather, and un unload and I guess load out once again. All right, what time is it? It's midday right now. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a little further into this town, see if we can unearth some stuff. So yeah, I got a lot of loot. We should be okay for food and water for a little bit. Uh, problem is, we got new zombies here, so this should be fun. I shouldn't have reloaded there, but maybe we can get a double shot off. There's one, and there's two. Oh, I love the head splatters, man. Okay, so yeah, looking at this town, I think we're gonna skip some of the houses for right now. Uh, I want to figure out 
what the hell's going on here? What do I have to do next? How the hell do I get in here, though? Looks like we're gonna have to go all the way around. Where did you come from? Well, we got lots of bullets, so I'm not too worried about weight wasting ammo. Mm -hmm. I wanna go to these big buildings, so let's go through this yellow house here. Um, oh, okay, I guess we can't get through here. <laughs> God damn it. Wow, that was two medkids. I swear this whole map's trolling me. How the hell do I get inside this place? Is there any way... I gotta go back out. So, was that just all a waste of time? How do I actually get inside? Man, never has it been so hard to get into a damn town here, so I'm wondering... Maybe this connects to the railway station? Because this kind of feels like the railway station. Uh, maybe we should head back there, see if we can unearth something there. I'm all the way at the edge of the town now, and of course it is... Uh, well, it's only one, but it does get dark really quickly in this game, so I don't want to be out here too long. I was hoping I could find a freaking entrance, though, but no! I'm gonna go around this whole freaking place before I figure out how to get in there. I mean, obviously there's an access point with one, one of the homes, I'm thinking. That or right here, but is this blocked off too? Yeah. Just like the other side, this is all blocked off. So, clearly they don't want me to go in here. I just want to go to the big buildings, damn it! Well, I found a peephole, and uh, that's kind of horrifying. We got a guy with a riot shield here. Um, seems to be that he's kind of stuck in place. Can his feet? No, can't seem to kill him. But, uh, yeah, I still can't get in there because you can't jump in this game. You can just roll. Huh. Well, I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. There's got to be an access point at one of the homes because now we're back on the other side of the... Uh, that's actually where I entered at the school bus there. So, I don't know how to get in the whole town, man. I wonder if I can blow up this door because it's just a garage. It looks like there's a bigger house, but I can't... I don't have an access... Oh, I do have an access point! Oh, God. Worst time to lag. Worst time to lag. Worst time to lag. Oh, God, please don't hurt me. Okay. Frig off! So this whole time, there was a door here that I didn't see. Really? And, okay, well, that explains it. Okay, that's a very fast-sounding zombie, so let's go... Pay him a little visit. Hey, buddy. Screw off. Thanks, buddy. All right, so that was a little confusing. We only have one access point, and it's the big yellow house. Now, uh, I, saw <laughs> I saw the kitchen here, and, uh, I mean, I'm all for, you know, small living, but, God, this is, this is a little too tight. Um, so, yeah, we seem to be doing okay for food now, and this house is uh, very, very lucrative, clearly. Jesus Christ! Why can't all homes be like this? This is amazing. Okay. The question is, what time is it? I think we should probably go home, considering I'm almost out of ammo, and reloot. And now we actually know how to get to the town, so that's great. It's from this one house. That's the whole access point to the whole freaking town. So now I gotta go all the way around these fences to get back out, which is why we gotta leave early before it starts turning dark. All right, being that it's not fully nighttime yet, we did kind of leave a little bit early. I thought we'd go back and check out the train station once again, because I do need scrap. I didn't find much scrap there, and now, as you can see, well, actually, I think a lot of my water, but I got something like 20-something water. Uh, so we're a little low on food, but water, we are totally good, so we don't have to worry as much about that anymore. And I want to see what exactly this place has. I feel like there's something here that we're going to need, so we'll break it. Disactivate that, because I think, yeah, we're going to need to move ahead just a little bit. Woo! It's a good thing I checked this place out again. I somehow missed a gun. Holy crap. Okay, so that's a whole new gun, and we missed that good loot as well. And as you can hear, there's zombies around here somewhere, so now it's turning nighttime. So I checked upstairs again. I think we got pretty much all that. I got to figure out how to open up that. Now I'm wondering, maybe the key I have will work? We got someone banging in over here. He's bothering me, so... Frig off! Oh, man. I totally missed that shot. What the hell? Oh, I shot his arm off. I thought I, thought I killed him. Whew! Okay, should probably use a med kit. We got so many med kits anyway, so... Let's just use one of these ones. Alright, but good night, everybody. I think we'll sleep for 10 hours. I slept for 12 last time, and it was pretty bright outside, so I don't want to waste any daylight if we don't need to. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll explore the train yard today. Ain't nothing like waking up and blowing up some zombie heads. All right, are you dead? You're dead. These guys are still trying to break into my place. I'm over here, you idiots. Oh, we got a runner. And a runner's dead. God, I love it when this gun actually works. So yeah, these guys, they don't care about anything else. They just want to get into this place. Is that two guys on top of each other? This is great. Uh, I should probably kill these guys that are actually walking towards me. Ow! Right, let's try out this new pistol as well. So we got a new pistol. 
I mean, obviously, it's nice to have a pistol as well. And I don't want to waste my shotgun. So, yeah, we'll probably use this for a little bit. Now, does this open on this side? No, it's locked on this side as well. Okay, well, let's see what we got here to enjoy. All right, well, I think I found what's over here. We got a loot zone here and clearly a pretty big one at that. Oh, hey, you're hiding over there. Come on. Oh, never mind. You're dead. Warning explosive. Okay, what's just a few bullets? Oh, that's not exciting. That's not exciting at all. I was hoping I'd find a key here. Nothing? What the? Come on, what, the, what What? military crate has nothing in it? So I, I, I looks like this is the the end of this, so I'm thinking I'm gonna take a look around, but I think that's all of it. So we have lots of crafting loot here, but that door's still locked, and I'm not sure how to open it. I'm gonna grab the key that we looted in the last episode and see if that works. All right, and that is officially it, I think. We just got, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, God. Oh, my God! Come on! Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. I had 11 health left. Jesus Christ, that's how quickly things can go badly. Uh, did not have the best shot there, but I didn't expect two of them to be around the corner, though, so you gotta be careful, man. All right, but that was an exit point. So, should probably heal up a little bit more. Just in case. That was a little scary. All right, please tell me I can... Oh my God, another locked door? What is up with all these locked doors? Now I'm gonna quickly run down here. I'm thinking, yeah, that's the town. I can see the bus where I enter. So, I've checked out all the train station. The only thing we got was a, a pistol. Don't get me wrong, that's great, but still haven't unearthed how to move on in this game. We gotta figure out how to unlock those doors. Well, a little bit late to be running out, but uh, I don't wanna waste the day just sitting there, so it's it's only midday right now. We should hopefully be able to do a little bit of this. Admittedly, I'm kinda rushing, but uh, problem is this is so far away from the train, and um, yeah, running's a little bit annoying in this game, so I'm using some of my energy drinks and kinda burning them. Seems like they upgraded the energy drinks. They now last a lot longer, which is nice. They're actually kind of useful. We got a whole town to explore now, and this is when I could really probably stealth, but stealthing is not my game. Okay, these got what? All right. Oh yeah, we want to get this guy first. There we go. Wanted to make sure I got an headshot. All right, and this is what I needed: another grocery store or convenience store, whatever the hell this place is. So this is great. Uh, this is all stuff I could definitely use. So we'll take our. Oh gee, hello. Shopping with me. Great, there you go, get the hell out of here. Let's see what we got down here. So there's some more, these are looks like ordinary homes. Again, I don't know what I'm looking for, so I don't I don't think they'll be in the ordinary homes. Ah, that's an access point, okay. So I was wondering how to get over to the other side of town. It's looking like right here. That might be how we do it. Um, there are so many zombies trying to get me right now. I'm, I'm really, what time is it? I'm really rushing this, because, oh, okay, so I have actually had access over here. Um, do we got, does this thing go up? No, that, that's empty, unfortunately. Okay, well, we made it to the big buildings. I don't know how long I should stay around here, but I definitely want to see, okay, I can get inside these. Interestingly enough, this door is open. It makes me feel like I've been here. But I don't think, no, this is another store. Holy crap, there's so many stores here. That tells me that we're probably supposed to stay here for a while. Okay, dude, come on. Well, he doesn't have an arm anymore, so he can't attack me. Oh, never mind, I lied. Just dancing with a zombie. I broke your riot shield, but you're still alive! This guy will not die. This is, this is, at this point, I just want to leave this guy. I mean, it's not like he's going to do much to me at this point. Dude, how many shots do you take? Oh, man, this guy, it wouldn't be, a, all right, you know what? I've had enough of you. I've had an absolute enough of you, so come on. Come on over. Yep, you too. And boom goes the dynamite. Frig off, please. Oh, that went a little far. Should we do another one? Yeah, let's do another one. Right there. Right in the kisser. Go! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. There's just so many buildings. I'm overwhelmed right now. There's more stores. I thought this would be like an apartment building, but like... It is just crazy. Come on out. Yeah, come on. Yeah, there you go. Frig off. Let me go check what's in here. All right, and I'm at all the way on the other side of town, so we really got to get back home, I'm thinking. I mean, I didn't I didn't go in every store, 
But nothing really stood out that told me that, hey, this might be a place, a, a point of interest. Now, I am seeing these radio towers. I feel like that's where survivors might be. So maybe we should head up to the uh, roofs of the apartment buildings. I think I'll try that. Um, obviously, we need to get home today, though. So let's head home. We got zombies everywhere. Oh, thankfully, I'm doing quite good against them. Get this guy out of here so I'm not going to deal with him later. They're, they're the worst. Oh, hey, look. Speak of the devil. All right, but yeah, maybe if we make it up to the roofs, we'll be able to get some sort of intel up there. So that's the only thing I can think of. There's not really any other points of interest here that are really st standing out as something that might be an option. Can I get through over here? This might be risky. All right, looks like I can possibly get through. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and actually, this is all closed in, isn't it? This is the problem. These damn fences, man. All right, and we made it back before nighttime once again. I would hate to be stranded in that giant city at night because, I mean, it it, it seems like it'd be simple to walk through a city, but with all the corridors and, you know, it's, it's basically a giant maze, that city. So, I didn't find... I'm, I'm thinking there's got to be a key there or something. I didn't find any keys today, but I think we're going to wrap up this one here. We did a lot today. We, uh, well, explored the whole city, explored the whole train station over here. I think I, I have to do some digging and see what we have to do next. Like I said, my assumption is uh, we go back to that junction on the railway track once we uh, can unlock the that this hut. Not this actual one, but the one that's actually over there. This one, I think, is used for these. So, yeah, this has got to be a railway switch station. Problem is, I do not have the keys for that, and I think that's what we got to find now. So, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't find it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully in the next episode we can because... Uh, this place is cool, but honestly, I want to keep going on further down the tracks. But yeah, we did a bit today. Found a new gun. That's always fun. Found the biggest city we've seen yet, and uh, finally got into the metal making as well. I don't think we have enough metal to, um, unfortunately, build the actual thing yet. Whatever that thing was called. The, the metal melting machine, or metal melting furnace. So yeah, we can't do that just yet, but hopefully in the next one we can. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this game. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.